What do you want? Get out of here. It's for adults only. Hey, groovy guys and gals, cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's. Look what I got at the supper club today. Oh, it's a cash box. Not a cash cab like that old TV show. But this is Peyton's. Now, I've been working with Peyton side by side on helping clearing out an estate of my friend. And he's a hard worker, and we got talking, and he's like, I think I got a little stash of stuff that you might want to show to your supper club guests. So, here he is. Now, can we get into it? <laughs> There's a dial here. So, let's see if we can get into this. You ready to try? I know I am. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. <laughs> the basement's for adults only. <laughs> oh, I got into it. I can't tell you the secret combo. But look at this. Micro Moschini's, baby. <laughs> uh, let's show these to you. I love Micro Machines. So does this Peyton guy. Thanks, Peyton. Now, these are just on loan. I'm giving them right back to him. So he can share them with his family and stuff. Oh, so that is cool. Look at that. A 747 Super Jumbo Jet. That is wild. Oh, and here's a Corsair. Stuka. <laughs> it looks like a Stuka. But it's... No, it's not a Stuka. It doesn't have a Stuka. But it's got the wings. It's a Corsair. Or a Jumbo Jet. Or there's a fly on the course. Hang on. Ah, we relocated him pretty quick. <laughs> Whew. Can't have a fly on the course. Look at this, baby. Some pretty cool airplanes here for all you airplane guys out there. Holy smokes. And look at this. I didn't even know that Micro Machines made a train like this. Look, oh, those wheels even go around. That is wild. And that's how they connect in. Oh, let me change my lights around as usual. There you go, 1999. That's a later year than normal. I gotta stand up and exercise. Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm like, why isn't it so bright here anymore? Holy smokes, Peyton, you are the airplane guy. Pretty nice. So Trixie had a a bonfire to go to last night and Soda Pop, Big Mom and I found an open mic night and we sang. No, we didn't sing, but we enjoyed the music. It was really nice. Outdoor cafe type of thing. Everyone, you know, seven miles apart and social distancing, but ah, oh, some good old classic music from the 60s and 70s. Look at these jets. I don't know anything about them, but I know you guys do. And I just thought they were kind of fun to see, you know? Especially when Peyton brought these in. I mean, they're working away. He's like, hey, I want to show you something. I'm like, dude. Really cool. Uh, busted propeller. That's okay. Look at those, though. Got a little fleet going. Look at this here's another train car it looks like a coal car now I do have HO trains somewhere in the the abyss but let me tell you I never really set up a train track I always wanted to set up a train track with the HO track and I do have the crossover piece so the train can crash into the cars I mean avoid crashing into the cars come on we're all adults here so does that even hook in 
<laughs> oh yeah, that hooks in. And this one hooks in too. Oh, look at this. Now we're talking some cars. Looks like a Mustang. Early. Uh, 80s type of thing. Mid 80s. 88 on that. Fun house. Oh, so that isn't even a micro machine. How nasty is that? Not even a micro machine, it's a ripoff. What else do we got in here that's kind of. Oh, 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 oh look at this. Oh, <laughs> it's a biplane. But look, <laughs> it's rubber. <laughs> I've never seen a rubber <laughs> micro machine before. It's like you can write down your your code, your secret code, and then erase it with your airplane. It's so rubbery. Oh, look at this supersonic jetonator made in USA or just USA. <laughs> <laughs> Very few things are made in USA. Oh, I love these planes. I don't know what they're called. But these are really cool. Busted off propellers. That stink. Stinkolas. But it looks like you could almost replace them pretty easily. If you have a parts plane or something like that. Oh, well, look at this. German something or other plane. Now I know you plane guys out there are like, oh yeah, that's a that's a German holds them from flopping, you know, or whatever it is. Oh, here's the caboose. We ate in a restaurant last night that literally we sat in a train car. It's pretty cool in my childhood home. Kind of fun. Oh look, we got bolts and ships. And talk about a clog in your drain if you play with these in the tub. Coast Guard. The detail on that. Pretty nice. Got a little scuff on the bottom. Then we got a power boat. Don Johnson would be jealous of this one, right? Tubs. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. Oh. There we go. Micro Machines, It reminds me of the Klein Tools Indie Racer Limited Edition. I think I have one left. Why? Maybe I gave all mine away. <laughs> Silly, stupid me. That's okay. Treasures in heaven, baby. Treasures in heaven. Oh, look. Here's the tanker truck for the train or tanker car. 76 on it. Now these, I mean, for micro machines, those are super long. There's, I wonder if there was an actual track that this went on. You know what I mean? It's just a hinge on there. But kind of cool. Got all these different... I know the coal car goes after that, but maybe it's gas-powered train. Look at that big long train there. Oh, one more plane hiding in the corner. 
Uh, I got them all out. Pretty sweet. He didn't tell me which is his, he remembers being his favorite or anything, but... Oh, look at this PT boat. Mikhail's Navy all over it. Right? Oh, that is pretty sweet. So he's got four ships, boats, floaty things. Oh, here's the coal car. It goes right after the train car. Or the uh, engine. Wow, there's a lot of great Peyton's in this one. Thank you, Peyton, for lending us to the Supper Club. This is a uh, fire or a T Bird. Right? Totally T Bird. Totally fun. Oh, I'm a little tired today after a long, long day yesterday. Working and doing all sorts of stuff and then out all night. Crazy. Now, I'm not a drinker, I know. But the more other people drink, the drunker I get, they say. I never drank alcohol, just never did. Didn't need it for some reason or not. Just lucky. Saved all my money, put it in my pocket. <laughs> Luckily, you know, sometimes on a rainy day, you need to dip deep into that pocket and pull that out. You never know what's gonna, what life's going to throw you. Trying to teach that to soda pop. And Trixie that you gotta save your money for a rainy day sometimes. Look at those wheels whacking like a jack attack. <laughs> those are crazy wheels. But a nice little another Indy car. Uh, military six-wheeler. Love it. Oh, the Marine Corps. That is nice. 88 1988 pretty sweet oh look at this 50 oh 59 Cadillac convertible one of my favorite cars totally rocking look at the fins and the double lights on the back there oh this is a riot I got to see one of these up close once at a car show and it was Sweet. I can't remember if I got a ride in one. I might have gotten a ride in one as a kid because one of my friend's grandmas had one. Luckily, it says GTO, so I know what this one is. <laughs> oh, that is pretty sweet. These micros are so much fun. So, yeah, this guy's grandma had one. And I might have gotten like a quick ride, you know, it was just, but it wasn't memorable, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I didn't appreciate cars as much as I do now, and especially a 59 Cadillac convertible, so cool. Grandma passed it away, and I think it came into the family. Was that a Firebird? Thunderbird. The Firebird. Tops. Here's an old Corvette. Pretty sweet. So much fun, these little ones. <laughs> Crack me up. And then collecting the micro machines, look at that. You could have a whole little corral of cars in, you know. Oh, look, this one's missing wheels. Oh, someone drilled the life out of that. I wonder if the rest of it's in there. But they could uh, put in a new set of wheels in there and just a thin piece of plastic and drill it back in there and that should be good. Got it, Peyton? Get to work, baby, get to work. Oh, look at that. Boy, I can't tell what that one is. Almost looks like an Avante, but <laughs> it's not the right. Maybe that's a Grand National, right? Buick Grand National. 
but it did the Grand National didn't have that kind of back it's like a Subaru or a, I don't know oh here's an old Corvette very cool the black cat baby oh Peyton very cool on these Looky, looky, tookie, tookie. This is an old Mercedes. Look at that. Got the emblem on it. Something, something. 350 SL or who knows what SL. Oh, there's a Firebird or Camaro. Or Firebird or Camaro. It's a Camaro, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Now, I know you guys know it from the grill. It's the hidden headlight version. And I think Firebird and Camaro both did those because they were like super competitors side by sides. Oh, another Mercedes. A little two door hot rod. For the rich and famous. Oh, look at this. What is that? It's a uh, Bentley. I don't know if they did Bentleys. Got any ideas? <laughs> Vega? <laughs> I don't know. It could be a Vega. Oh, here's another one just like that other. So we got two, two, two mints in one. Wow, we got the double mint twins on this. That's pretty cool here and here. All in the cash box. Look at this. We only got a couple more. This is a Camaro. Or Corvette, I mean. <laughs> like she snaily said. <laughs> yep. It's those times you get excited because someone says, I'm giving you a vet. But it's a... It's a... Oh... <laughs> Chevette. That's what it is. A Chevette. Not a Corvette. <laughs> oh, the brain just went blank for a while. Hate that. <laughs> Look at this old pickup truck with the roll bar and lights. Did Hardcastle or Ironsides drive one of those? I can't remember. Here's a Jeepster. Oh look, it's got a, it's got some sort of pivot up on the top, like it had something stuck in there, but Peyton ripped it out, busted it off, Peyton, can't believe it, holy smokes, look at that, is that a hole in the grill too, was this a daisy chain of cars or something, like a tow bar, had a tow bar or something that came up and over, I don't know. When they get stuck in the mud, they get to pull them out. And that is a pretty sweet little thing of cars. Now, I'm going to add all these cars into his collection so he can share with his family. There's some really cool ones in there. Now, we've seen most of these before on other videos. And one day I will do a, a supersonic uh, micro machine video. But it won't have these in it because I got to return all these to Peyton. So I'm going to fill up this little box here with those. And I'm going to, I put those in a bag so he can see, uh, separate out his original cars. Because I know he's probably forgotten about these. He probably hasn't played with them forever. So look at all these cool cars. I'm telling you, so much fun rocking and rolling I'll probably see Peyton tomorrow and I'll drop these off so oh there's a caboose look at all these airplanes holy smokes that is good that is good hey Peyton thanks for lending us all your 
micro machines these are really sweet you got a great collection uh, for future generations to come rock on my friend rock on remember this has been a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club and life does not start till after 316I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.